I would recommend uh, Robert Douglas Fairhurst's Metamorphosis. Uh, Robert is a uh, professor of English at Oxford. He and I judged the Booker Prize together a decade ago, uh, more than a decade ago, I think. Um, and a few years ago, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And so he decided that he would read his way to coming to terms with that diagnosis. Um, he is really clever, it almost doesn't need saying. He's really funny. He's completely unselfpitying. He's incapable of self-pity. He goes through the most extraordinarily dangerous and difficult medical procedure. And he does the whole thing by reading to work out how he feels and perhaps how he could feel or should feel. And I mean, he and I have been friends for a, a long time. I cried quite a lot reading it, um, I think. A regular person would probably also, but you would also find a kind of sense of inner joy. Um, the metamorphosis that the title refers to is, of course, Kafka's metamorphosis, the sense that a yeah, man wakes up and he, can't, he no longer recognises his own body. Um, it's a, I think it's both a beautiful book and an important book. Um, and my other recommendation is that you should read Emily Wilson's translation of the Iliad. Um, it's taken her a few years. Uh, her Odyssey came out in, I think, 2017. I've lost track a bit. Um, and this is just a really important companion piece. We want, always want Homer to be uh, read, at least I do. So the fact that Emily produces these really readable, really muscular translations, it just makes it a better world for everybody who's not going to sit there and pick their way laboriously through the Greek.